Hey guys, welcome back to another Sanctuary vlog and Gabby just got back from her cruise. How was it? It was a lot of fun, but it was exhausting and I'm glad to be back. Uh, well, Miss Bam is you glad you're back. The animals, I know. I heard that Bambi wouldn't come outside and was just hiding inside all day. Yeah, I got her out when Aaron was here, but otherwise that was about it. But yeah, so we're gonna go feed the, uh, the goats and the pigs. Is the emu huge? Yes. <laughs> Before I left, I have a video of the emu running next to Bambi and they were the same size. I have a video. And now it's like <laughs> double Bambi. Those are my distraction pellets so I can hopefully not get mobbed if the door is bad. That didn't work. Are we letting the goats graze today? We could try, yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I missed you. I missed you. Yeah. Julie! Petunia! Oh, hi, Petunia. Julie! <laughs> Oh, there you go. Give a little bit of food. Hi. Hi, big girl. I'll be quick with that food, man. She'll take a finger. Petunia. Come here, Tuni. Can you sit? Can you sit? Good pig. Oh, it's a good pig. There's a good pig, Petunia. There you go, Petunia. Yeah, who knows how to sit really well is Daisy. Daisy! Come here, Daisy. Can you sit? Can you sit? Good pig! Oh, good girl, Daisy. Good girl, Daisy. Look at this good pig. And back to look for goat food. Betunia! What are you doing, Betunia? Oof. Oof. This big pig. What's funny is Betunia's really actually small, but full of personality and aggression. This big mohawk. Look at this big mohawk. Like a razorback. Hi, Kit Kat. It's your three legs. Hi, Kit Kat. It's a beautiful morning. Looks like uh, spring has sprung. Everything's super green and beautiful. Good morning, Olaf. Time for your meds. You want to take your medicine? Yeah. Maybe. I just gave him the first one. Here you go, Olaf. Oh, oh, it's a good boy. There we go. There's a good boy. All right, yes, there's a good boy. There we go. Hi, baby pigs. Remember, guys, they are available. Don't be scared. You're okay. That's okay. They need some loving homes. They're ready to be adopted. So if you do want to adopt one of them, it's through Eastern Snouts. That's who we've been fostering for. And, uh, yeah, do you contact them? I think they can send them anywhere in the U.S. Pretty sure. But, yeah, so they are available for adoption. And they're very cute. Here's our Aldabra tortoise enjoying some cactus. We actually have two Aldabras. They're the second largest tortoise species in the world. 
which number one is Galapagos, which we also have two of those too. But they're babies and they're inside the house because they're pretty small and we can't have them outside. They might get picked off by something. So you don't see them a lot, but I do show them sometimes. All right, so we just got some deliveries over here. So uh, we got some new boots from Brunt. Thank you, Brunt. You sent me some boots. And we also have our uh, raw feeding. What was it called again? It's from Raw Feeding Miami. Raw Feeding Miami. So this will be the ground rabbit, ground chicken, uh, basically Jet's entire life in this box. Okay. So very cool. Thank you so much to the people who uh, helped us out on this. Do you remember the names? There was like, I'm gonna have to look it up. There was like five or six people that sent us quite a few packages of ground chicken, ground rabbit for the foxes. So thank you so much. This is gonna be awesome. There we go, so you throw all that in the freezer. Yeah, thank you so much guys. This is gonna be awesome. Foxes are gonna be very, very happy. And we're getting a new fox next week. Is it next week? So they said the 18th, around the 18th is when, it's the 14th, and they said around the 18th they're going to have their next, um, you know, foxes coming from Florida, or to Florida, so, yeah. I don't know what today is, so. It's the 14th. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, so coming up soon, yeah. Yeah, within the next couple of weeks. Very exciting. All right, so now it's warmed up. Tortoise is going back outside. Hit <laughs> you. Bless you. Thank you. So when it's cold and in the winter, we have this reptile <coughs> building. Sorry, I'm allergic to tortoises. <laughs> and uh, this is where we keep our reptiles. And it's it's been very, very convenient for the winter. But this upcoming winter, um, we want to have like a little shed that's insulated specifically for the tortoises. So we don't have to keep bringing them back and forth because uh, it's time consuming for sure. And this gets heavy. <laughs> How many more? Okay. Well, that's six, so two more. Hi, Pebbles. How you doing, pretty girl? The baby image is Okay, big one first. This is Pebbles, and she is our yellow foot tortoise. So if you look at her, you'll see she's uh, different than the other ones. So the rest are all red foots, and she's a yellow foot. So she's a lot bigger, too. She's a big girl. She is huge. She's heavy. She's very dense. Look like, at that camouflage. Oh, she blends right in. It's amazing. Like, if you compare her to like the Aldabras, the Aldabras feel like, like they're like balloons. Like they're very light. Meanwhile, ugh, that big yellow foot is so heavy and dense. And this one ugh, is Fergus, and he's a Burmese black mountain tortoise. With a dirty face. <laughs> With a dirty face. And Dirty underside too. It's got a handful of poop. <laughs> so let's go refill their water and then we'll let the goats out. Yes. Alright, so now we're bringing this out for the tortoises. Well, that's the bad part is they are the farthest enclosure from the house. And we don't have water ran out here. So gotta do my workout. <laughs> okay. Gotta bring five gallon bucket full of water out here. And we got a bunch of cactus in this one.
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and feed the foxes. Now that Gabby is back, we have amazing food again. It's like when, you know, your mom's out of town and dad tries to make food and sucks at it. That's been me the whole week. All right, gonna go feed the quaddies now. So why don't you say what they got? Oh my gosh. What do we do is to me? Because you made it. Monkey biscuits, fruit, we have cottage cheese, boiled sweet potato, freeze-dried salmon, uh, whole prey fish, and some baby food. All right. Oh, and some freeze-dried raw chicken. Something I can actually normally open. Come on, Lily. Come on, Lily. Come on, Lil. Come on. Lily. She make it through the doorway on her own? Ah, uh, very ungracefully and tripped, but yes. If, if, that's if she. You just... Do you think it's a male or a female? Oh, I mean, I've got a clue. I feel like she's a girl. Just a feeling? Just a feeling. Just a feeling. Are we going to blood test? Yeah, uh, there are some websites too where you can like send out a feather. I don't know how old they have to be, but you could send out a feather or we can bring her to the vet and get her. Oh my gosh. Can you hand me that stick? They're pooping in there? They love to poop in here. Why? They just poop everywhere, I think. Nice. Yay. Don't. <laughs> No, ma'am. Immediately gonna eat it. The other day, Clover was pooping and the emu was like, oh, is that soft serve ice cream? Just... No. <laughs> Why? Maybe we gotta learn somehow. Did Damn. everybody miss her on my my your vlogs? Oh, what, 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 what? Was anybody missing her on your vlogs? Missing who? Bam. Oh, yeah. Was she not on any of your vlogs? I think somebody asked if she got eaten by an eagle or something. <laughs> People are so annoying. But, yeah. No, Bam's just been hiding inside the whole time Gabby's gone. Bam! She's not a brave girl without her mommy. What is on your head? I don't know what that is on her head. Bam, what did that? It's like glue. It's probably sap. Gross. Hi. I love you. Hi, Bean. Here you go. Yeah, blueberries. 
Got a lot today. We got blueberries, carrot, apple, peach, sweet potato, and plum. Yeah. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. But all he cares about is blueberries. Blueberries are life. is so happy to see Gabby. Hello, my love. How He's are so you? tired of me. <gasps> Will you a bear boy for your daddy not taking your medicine? See, when what? I see him, he doesn't put his crest up. He doesn't, he just stares at me. I love you. I missed you so much. I missed you so much. Okay, eat some breakfast. Hi, Rocky. Oh, this boy likes me. Hi, Rocky. Oh, look at Rocky. Hi, Rocky. All right, now we're in here with the prairie dogs. Hi, guys. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Hi, Harv. Looks like Harv is enjoying some papaya. Poppy just wants to be pet. Oh, Poppy. Oh, what is Poppy? You had somebody right. very confused thinking that this was like this super famous poppy. Hmm? You had somebody very, very confused and they've been commenting on all the videos asking how you acquired poppy. There's oh, super, there's another prairie dog named poppy? That's like super famous. You mean this poppy's not famous? That Look at him. Famous, Are you famous poppy? No. You were the not famous poppy? He's very offended. But no, this is not the same one. Oh. Look at them going to town on that papaya. Here, why don't you have some? Nope, straight back. Have some, have some papaya. No, you just want pets? No, you just want pets? Did they bring some rocks up from the bottom? Yes, they did. <laughs> a bunch of rocks. Did you bring those up? Here, you go over there. Eat, eat food. Nope. Now we're in the small pair of aviary. So this is Tango. Who's enjoying? What do we got in here? We got the the parakeet mix. We got some of the uh, large parrot chop. We have uh, some cantaloupe, sweet potato, and millet. Everybody else is out there eating over there. We got the quail on the ground down there. They all look very happy. All right, so this is one of the gator ponds. So I'm gonna try to get these uh, leaves out. Well, that side's completely full of rainwater. So we're gonna have to get a pump pretty soon here. Obviously no gators yet, so I wasn't worried about it, but it's filling with mosquitoes. So I'm gonna try to get some of this out. Baby Emu was sleeping, so cute. So I've been in here cleaning up the gator pond area. So Gabby just went through with a leaf blower and then I just carried out all the um, branches and logs that were cut over here. So we're trying to get this all ready up. Uh, today, I think we're gonna go try to buy a trash pump, be able to drain this thing. So it's just filled with uh, mosquito larva and leaves right now. Oh, Chloe, you're gonna, you're gonna slide right in there. But um, yeah, and so then we got to, uh, rake this up, throw down some seeds, start watering, and we're gonna try to grow some grass in on the edges here, and then do some, uh, I wanna do some native landscaping of some more bushes and trees up in here. So it's kind of the idea we're doing right now. All right, so this is our crop monitor. 
And today is his first day outside. I don't know if we've shown him before on this channel, but um, he's usually inside the house because he's still kind of small. And so we brought him outside. This is going to be where he lives, but it's been cold and he's still not quite big enough. Um, and uh, so we've had him outside for a couple of hours and we're going to bring him inside now. So full protection here. Um, this probably only offers about 10% protection from a bite. This will not stop you from being hospitalized from a bite from this animal. I'm wearing the gloves for the claws. This thing is no joke with the claws, but the bite on one of these guys supposedly is the worst, uh, or one of the worst. Some people say it is the worst lizard bite you can get. I mean, it's just really, really Razor bad. Razor sharp. Razor sharp teeth. So he's kind of calm. And he's a baby. He's a baby. They, get, yeah. they can get like 11 feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you've seen my other videos I've done with adult ones that other people have, I mean, they're really cool. They can be trained and be, they're super smart. So that's what I plan on doing with him. But um, yeah, haven't done anything with him yet. He's pretty good. That's a good boy. You're okay. Okay. Good job. He's not being that bad, right? Not yet. He's not trying to bite. Just a little. All right, so we just went out and bought our new uh, water pump. So that's going to be able to handle leaves and suck them out. So we got the intake hose right here too. And uh, we still need the uh, outgoing hose, discharge hose. They didn't have that in stock. And then we also just got a ton of mulch again. We get through this really quickly. Yeah, we do. And everybody's like, why don't you buy it in bulk? Like, because we haven't found anywhere around here where we can actually do that. And it's a specific kind. We like the pine bark. All right, so now we're coming out to do night checks and feed the... <laughs> you hear him? Jet. Jet sees Clover and is so excited. Jet! You excited, Jet? <laughs> Hi, Jet. Hi, Asami. He's excited. Oh, there you go, Asami. There you go. There you go, big girl. We got some food for you. Jet is so excited over there. So Asami's got sweet potato and beets and carrots and acorn squash and freeze-dried raw duck and cantaloupe so many options today yeah and this is like a I don't know some kind of like beef jerky thing there she just loves sniffing there's no peppers I look she's she didn't eat anything because there's no peppers there we go she want to be hand fed there you go Jed I'm always eating some sweet potato. <laughs> He's got freeze dried rabbit, right? No rabbit today. No raw rabbit, but isn't that freeze dried rabbit? Uh, freeze dried chicken. Oh, okay. Well, he grabbed sweet potato. Decided to eat it over there away from us. But tomorrow, you'll get some raw rabbit, okay? Loving that sweet potato. Hi guys. You're all running around. Can't even see you guys. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> Check out the foxes. There's Hazel up there. And there's Yue and Kira down there. How are we doing, guys? How are we doing? 
Ooh, and the bye. Hi, Hazel. Hi, pretty girl. Good boy. He takes it so much easier for you. I mean, he'll take it with me, but it takes like 15, 20 minutes. You gotta take that. You gotta eat that. You gotta eat that. Yes, that's good medicine. So happy is to see you? It's good Cupid's in the back of Ivan. Hi, Cupid Doopy. What are you Cupid. doing? Hi. Hi, baby Olaf. Olaf loves Gabby. Yeah. And he was stuck he with me. He knows his mommy. Oops, I is there any pellets in there? Did you eat all your pellets? Oh, uh, yeah, he ate all this food. You ate all of it? There's no pellet left? I was going to give you some. All right, well, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy watching. Say goodnight, Olaf. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.